So what was your favorite things and your not favorite things for our camping trip? We'll start off with the favorites. I really like the way that the bath caddies worked out. Me too. It was nice because you could get everything that you needed at the bathhouse in there all at once. You didn't have to have handfuls or... I liked it because it had all the little pockets on the outside and you could stick everything in there organized and it was mesh and it was cheap. Yeah. Another thing I really liked how it worked out was the gown bags for the kids' outfits. Mm-hmm. It was another thing to keep everything organized in the tent instead of having everything strong everywhere. And we wrote the kids' names on each of the bags and what outfit was for what occasion. Yep, and they came in handy when they were empty for like trash and wet bags and then cookie and wet clothes and cookies. <laughs> wet cookies. Yeah. <laughs> and then the third thing that we liked was the tripod, which we are using currently. The UBZ tripod. Yeah. It's nothing super fancy and it wasn't very expensive, but it worked really well. Mm -hmm. The fourth thing that we liked was the rolling drawers. The skinny ones, not the wide ones, the skinny ones. <laughs> because you could tuck them in the corner. We use those for, once again, putting all the kids' clothes in, the diapers, um, everything. It was real nice because you could see through it and you could see what was in each. Okay, so the next thing that we liked was the tent itself. Oh yeah, it was one of our more costly purchases, but it was worth it to have it so easy to set up. Mm -hmm. It's a Gazelle T8, and it seems large, but once you start putting your stuff in there, especially with the three kids and all their stuff, it was just right for mm -hmm. what we needed. The fact that it popped up so quickly was nice because we could pop it up, get our stuff in there, and get the kids out of the car and playing and stuff. So that helped a lot. And maximized our time there because we were able to set up so quickly. Mm -hmm. And this tent has a division, so it was nice. The boys had their own little area, and then we had our own area. So. We were basically able to keep our routine the same as we do at home because the boys sleep in their own room together and Lindsay and I and Ellen sleep in the same room. Mm -hmm. So we were able to keep ourselves separated. Yep. Although they kept making their way into our tiny little room. which we're... After they slept all night. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that later about our bed situation. Okay, so the next one is a combo of what we liked. It was our yoga mat, our a moving blanket, and a rug. The yoga mat we laid between the boys, we brought their pack and plays and put it in their rooms and put the yoga mat in between, which was nice because it gave a little cushion. So if they fell down or if they wanted to play, it was a little bit of cushion besides Or when being, they crawled out on their own. Yeah, <laughs> besides being flat on the hard on ground, the pavement, yeah, yeah. The pavement. Um, the moving blanket we kept in our room beside our bed. So that when we fell out of bed. <laughs> in the rug, we just laid it outside of our tent. We could wipe our feet off and kick our shoes off before you get in the tent because nobody likes a whole bunch of dirt and sand in your tent. The next thing was... Yes, the Christmas twinkle lights. It, Since the tent was a little bit transparent, the light was able to be outside where we could see, we could clearly identify our, our tent and the light bled through inside. Yeah. where we didn't have to have a bunch of extra lights inside. They, yeah, that, they were bright enough where we could see inside. That was still. better than a lantern to me. Yeah. The bug spray around the tent. Her brother actually suggested that because the tent has a Velcroed on floor. It's not quite tight enough to keep out those creepy crawlies. So we just sprayed just a, a, a multi-bug bug spray around the tent and then I even put it on the windows and the doors to kind of keep the mosquitoes and the moths at bay also. Even with the twinkle lights on, we didn't get that many moths or that mm -hmm. many mosquitoes. Yeah. Suggestion, spray it when you're leaving the tent. Yeah. <laughs> Don't spray it when you're in the tent. <laughs> 
So spray it right before you go. That way you can keep the ants out and stuff like that too, especially if you have food in your tent. The next thing that I really liked and really worked out well was the Radio Flyer Beach Wagon. Yeah, it has the big wheels and it has a little thing that flips up on the back where you can hook your chair on it. And it has a little um, canopy that mm -hmm. you can connect. Which the shade. Is, yeah, it was really easy to connect that too. And you could, it made it easy to give extra shade, especially for Elowen. So the last thing that was one of our favorites. Was the roof bag. <laughs> our van is big, but there's also five of us. And we went for an entire week, so we had a lot of stuff. All three in car seats too. And all three are still in car seats. So we took up a lot of room and our stuff took up a lot of room so we we probably could have gotten everything inside but then we wouldn't have been able to see to drive hardly, yeah especially out the back uh -huh. but with the roof bag it took up it was able to hold enough to where we could make it safer to drive because we could still see out all three of the back windows and have that stuff and the max prime i can't remember what the brand of the bag was but it worked really well it didn't slip or slide at all and it didn't get misshapen. The straps didn't come apart or anything. And just with just with four buckles, it was able to hold a pretty heavy load in place mm -hmm. for the whole 200 miles that we went. Yeah. So it worked really good. So for our not so favorite things for our trip. The things that didn't really work out as well as we hoped they would. The first one, we've always used a full size. Is it full or queen? It might be a queen. I think it's a queen. Okay, a queen size blow up mattress. And it took up more than half of the space of one of the rooms. We want to try to invest in getting two of the little fold up camping cots for us. And if anybody's had experience with that, let us know, comment below as far as how you felt using the cots and how easy they are to pack and, and if they're comfortable as well. What brands? Yeah. Okay. Another thing we really didn't like was the big, the wider of the rolling, clear ro rolling drawers that we had. They just took up too much room and they weren't it wasn't versatile enough. Whereas the skinny ones we could put anywhere and mm -hmm. move them. The big yeah. one was just too cumbersome and too heavy. And another thing we had just, we had three individual fans. We had two on our side to try to keep us cool. And then we had one on the boys side, but every time the boys were loose, they wanted to touch it and play with it and turn it on and off. So what our idea is, is our fan has the, I mean, our tent has those little stash pockets up in the roof. So we're gonna try to get either full size box fans or just, or smaller box fans to pull the air down. The fifth thing that um, wasn't quite our, <laughs> wasn't not a favorite of ours, but they didn't have any um, posts to tie a clothesline to at this particular campground. So as we were driving through the campground, we saw everybody had the folding drying racks. So we're gonna try to use, bring one of those next time in case that situation comes up where we don't have a clothesline, um, anything to hook our clotheslines to. But I think that was about it. As far as our not favorites and our favorite, hopefully in this video, y'all can see exactly what all we're talking about with the different items we use and get to see the fun that all of us had on our little trip.
going? We going to beat. We are? Are you excited? Branson, are you excited? To the beach. Yeah. <laughs>